Hey everyone, this is J-Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, if you do or do not know who this man is, this is Ed Buck, a Democrat donor. He demogra uh, donates money to different Democrats. He's some, I think, hedge funder. Um, something like that. This man has been talked about for basically months because f finally, after a third man was found being overdosed at his home, he is finally being charged. He should have been charged a long time ago and arrested. Prominent Democrat donor Ed Buck was arrested on suspicion of running a drug den after third man alleged suffered a methamphetamine overdose last week at his Los Angeles home. Now, and it says here that Buck, who is 65, is facing felony charges of battery, causing serious injury, administering methamphetamines, and maintaining a drug house. Now, why did I say earlier that he should have been arrested? Because it was two men that were at his home that he also, that also overdosed. And those two men died and they were found in his home. Also, there's been rumors of sexual deviance by Mr. Ed Buck that he targeted mostly gay men. The two gay men that were found dead were two black LGBT men. And this is not an attack on LGBT. This is just not on the actions of the entire community. This is talking about the actions of one man and that is Ed Buck. One reason why he probably wasn't arrested is the fact that he is a powerful democratic donor, uh, a hedge fund, uh, some kind of big money maker for the Democratic Party for elections and stuff like that. So that's probably his power basically made him untouchable up until now. But the question is, speaking of the LGBT, are they going to do and say anything about this? Because the, the victims were, in fact, LGBT, and particularly black LGBT. I mean, they was the group that went after people like Dave Chappelle and Kevin Hart, but I never saw any of them go after Ed Buck and Ed Buck killed people like I said this is nothing against the LGBT but I will call out that no one went after Ed Buck for his DVC he basically committed crime against LGBT or if if he's LGBT himself, this was a, what you would call, LGBT on LGBT crime. So, yeah, this guy killed innocent, whether, whether, whether what you think about the two black, uh, men that were murdered or killed, they were rejected by meth. Whether you, doesn't matter how, what you think about them. The point is, they were victimized in a crime and they should get justice. And Ed Buck should not be on the streets just because he's a big donor for the Democratic Party. This also shows you, uh, that I didn't see no one in the Democratic Party talk about, about Ed Buck's situation. I don't see the Me Too movement. Because he has been confirmed as a sexual predator, so I don't see. I don't. I did not see the Me Too talk about. It. Now the good news is I did see the first them talk about it. Those who are involved with Tariq Nasheed's first them movement 
They talked about it. They were the only ones that talked about it. Me Too movement didn't talk about it. They were trying to walk away from this. That shows the hypocrisy of the Democratic Party, the hypocrisy of the Me Too movement. So this is t shows you right there, we can't trust the Democrats and the Me Too movement and stuff like that. And to people of the black LGBT, this is a warning. Um, there is racism within the LGBT movement. Like I said, this is not an attack against the entire LGBT movement. But notice that all, all that there was people within the LGBT movement that did not talk about this. This also tells you the blatant racism that's within that movement. So black to those who are in black who are also in the LGBT movement. Just because you're in the LGBT movement doesn't mean um, you will not be hit with racism. And just because someone is LGBT doesn't mean they're not racist. This was a racist motivated attack by Ed Buck. Notice that most of the men that he was with were mostly black men. That determines that this was a race, racial motivated incident. He targeted mostly them. Probably tricked them into a romantic relationship, drugged them with ultra drugs, probably raped them, and killed them. Now let's see what happens. Is there going to be a trial, and will he, if he's going to be convicted that's the next thing and once again this is him right here I really didn't read the, read this article much basically what I'm saying tells it all but I will still leave the link to it in the description box and I hope this guy right here this Ed Buck rots in jail for the rest of his life if he's convicted but I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. I want to know. Yeah, I really want to. I really want to know. Make sure you share the video, share the article. Uh, this is whether you watch it on YouTube, Facebook, Black Junction, etc. But that's all I have to say for now. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.